Hello everybody, what's going on? Today, we are going to be playing episode 2 of our Minecraft series. And we're going to be starting it off by finally finishing this house. And, you know, this house, it's not the biggest thing in the world. I am planning on expanding it. Uh, I was planning on having something down here, but I'll, I'll think of that when it comes to it. I need, so, as of now, I need to finish the roof and this little area. And I need to decide on what I want to do with this because I don't really like the way that it juts out. But uh, I'll think about it and uh, I guess just enjoy the montage. And 
that is the house finally complete. Uh, let me know what you guys think of it. I mean, it's just a small starter house. But, um, you know, I actually, I thought it turned a lot better than I thought it looked before. Um, I don't know if you know this, but you can use cobblestone walls to, uh, make these, like, little, almost vertical slab walls. And I think they look, uh, a little bit nicer than just straight up cobblestone. And, uh, also have a potato farm down here. And when I get any, any animals or a horse, maybe I have a pen in here for them to stick their head out. And, uh, the main area... You just go up these stairs, and there's this little light post thing. And then when you come in... See, I don't, I don't have very many things yet, but... Anyway, it's just all my stuff in here, and... You know, it's not actually that bad. It's also got plenty of, plenty of room for a small starter house, but... What's good about this is I can extend the house back some if I wanted to, like add an addition that heads back, or... Something that heads forward to the side. Really, I could do anything that I want. I have a lot of stuff to play with in this little area. But, um, I also, I made this waterfall, uh, into a little pond. Actually, I'm thinking about extending it, but we'll do that later. And then it runs off and actually irrigates our farm over here. Um, but the next thing that I wanted to do in this episode is, uh, accomplish the second goal that I didn't get to finish in the first episode. And that was to start a sugar cake farm. And, you know, because I'm Cuban, sugarcane's kind of a big thing, so we're going to make this absolutely massive. 44 is not absolutely massive, but it's it's a good start. So, uh, this episode, probably going to title it, like, something like, finishing and farm, like, something about, uh, <clears throat> so I got to the area where I actually want to build the farm, and I actually got a few extra pieces of sugarcane, so I think for now... What we're going to do is line this entire river with sugarcane, and then once it grows, just keep on going. It's going to be, it's going to be massive. You're going to be able to see sugarcane for miles. And, uh, I guess we'll start, uh, right over here. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, that is the main portion of the sugarcane farm complete. Well, I say main portion. It's maybe, uh, 16th of how far I want to grow this thing. It's gonna be wrapping around this entire river and back. So, you know, it's, it's gonna be a lot. And, uh, I, then I might interest myself in, uh, getting a librarian villager, because I know they buy paper, and with that much sugarcane, the amount of paper you can get is insane but uh, I'm gonna grab these pumpkins and I could also make a, a pumpkin and melon farm while I'm here actually uh, and <clears throat> then I'll have like a lot of the main farms that I want complete of course that potato farm I'm probably gonna expand it it's just also uh, for decoration for my house so it's not like I'm gonna remove it ever but it also just kind of looks nice under there but I will eventually make a much larger farm for the potatoes and stuff to trade with farmer villagers and, uh, so trading's gonna be really good for leveling up and just getting what I need in this world. I want to level up a farmer with melons, pumpkins, and potatoes, so that eventually I can start buying golden carrots, which is, uh, probably the best food source in the game right now. I'm thinking about putting the melon and pumpkin farm off in this, uh, off that waterfall instead of this one, because I already have the potato one running off of this one. But, uh... Actually, I might be able to do it off of this one, but I'm kind of running out of space here because it cuts off very quickly. So I'm just going to do it off of this one and make it kind of run this way into the light more, I think. Uh, yeah, I feel like that's kind of a good idea. So I'll, I'll do that.
Alright guys, so I think I'm gonna be calling it for this episode. Uh, it- we actually did get a lot done today. Uh, actually surprisingly in a shorter amount of time we got more done than yesterday. We got, uh, or not yesterday, but last episode. We got the, uh, sugarcane farm going. We also have our- We have our melon and pumpkin farm. And we have our potato farm. We also finished the house and uh, irrigated some water and made, made it actually look a little bit nicer. Next we just need to do something with this lava because I don't like how it has this little cobblestone running along. Uh, I didn't do much talking this episode, sorry, but uh, yeah, but I did do a lot of building and stuff, so that's, it all, it all, it's all good, it's all good. I might need to uh, turn up my simulation distance though because I, I don't know if those, uh, I don't know if those, um, sugarcane are going to be growing. But, anyway. Uh, thank you for watching. And, uh, catch you in the next one. Bye.